Places they have to do, people they have to see. And, did I just say places they have to do? <laughs> I think the heat is getting to me. Anyway, speaking of heat, wait till you hear this next too. No, but, <laughs> but um, well, our performers are getting ready here. Uh, I'd like to just say a little bit about the next tune here. It was written by a couple of gentlemen uh, from New York, a gentleman named Louis Muir, who was a self-taught pianist, and according to legend, he couldn't, uh, he could only read music and, well, he couldn't read music or write it, and he could only play in one key, the key of G-flat major, also known as F-sharp. And for those of you folks who aren't musicians, it's not like C on the piano that's all on the white keys, G flat's all on the black keys. But the good part about that is it sounds very melodic, so it's easy to get a good melody, and that's part of why this guy was a great songwriter. Well, anyway, he went into this publishing company one day, and, uh, yeah, come on, guys. <laughs> I'm not filling time here for nothing. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I can't, I can't. But, um, so he goes into this publisher, Carrie Mills, the same guy who wrote at a Georgia camp meeting, by the way, but he's also a publisher by this time. Uh, him, uh, Mr. Muir, and the lyricist L. Wolf Gilbert go in together, and they pitch this song. I think Muir played it and Gilbert sang it or something like that. Anyway, and Mr. Uh, Mills, the publisher, he was, he was like, oh, okay, yeah, that song's okay. Well, I'll, I'll think about it. And, you know, he's basically rejecting the tune, and I don't want to publish that. So the two guys, they walk out thinking, well, you know, if we don't hear back from him, we'll, well, maybe we'll get it to another publisher. Maybe we can sell it somewhere else. And in the meantime, it's like, I think a day goes by, a little less than a day goes by, and they get a phone call from Mr. Bills. He's like, you guys better come back in and write that tune down because I can't get it out of my head. I've been humming it ever since you guys left the store. It's, exactly. And so they, they wrote it down, or they had somebody write it down for them. It became a smash hit in 1912. I'm sure it sold a million copies of sheet music by now. You know it, you love it, from 1912, Waiting for the Robert E. Lee.
like to do an encore, ladies and gentlemen. It's a really hot night out, and I think we're all pretty weak. But uh, if you keep supporting Old Town Music Hall, we might be able to do this again. So, On, on behalf of everybody, on behalf of Edward, and Caden, and Ryan, and John, and Vincent, and Itchy, and of course myself, and of course Mr. Bill Field, without, without whom all of this would not be possible at all. Just thank you, and thank you so much for coming out. Good night, everybody. Thank you.